Hey everyone, it's me, Rachie, back with another video, and today I thought I would make some shadow box art. I was shopping around in Michaels one day, and I found a pack of shadow boxes in the clearance section that had a great sale. The reason for the sale was because the packaging advertised four boxes, but there were only three. Also, the wrapping was poorly done, so there were a few scuffs and bruises on the frames, but overall it was a great deal. So I snagged it, and I got to thinking what I could do with them. Then one Sunday after church, we went to Joanne Fabrics so my mom could get some fabric for a project she's working on. I was wandering about and I thought, hey, I could get supplies for the shadow box project, and I found the puffy double-sided stickers and paper. When I was looking at the wall of paper Joanne's had stocked, I realized I had no idea where to take this project. I knew I wanted to make a paper project with a lot of layers and texture, but I didn't know what I wanted the theme to be. I saw this super tattered and weathered map print. And I looked for papers and trinkets to go with that theme, but I couldn't find anything up to my standards. I really wanted to make this thing different and a bit special. Then I found the most perfect paper. It was a firefly print, and something about the dark blue background really spoke to me. I quickly found a gorgeous black paper with gold stars that had this beautiful sheen to it. I wanted one more paper, but nothing seemed to be the right color palette and theme. Then I saw a warm brown leather paper, and it somehow tied the first two papers together beautifully. I wasn't sure how I could use it, but I took a chance and I bought it. Fast forward to today, when I'm working on my little project. I've had this video idea bumbling in my head for a while now, and I was super excited to start on it. I knew going in that I wouldn't be able to get a lot of detail into the art, so I made a more abstract scene with a brown lumpy bush and some blobs of fireflies in the corners. About halfway into the project, I realized that there wasn't any focal point and it was just wavy blobs of paper. So I decided to add a bit of a personal touch, with a cat poking his head out from behind the bush. I got the idea from this goofy collage I made a few years back, of a nice sunset and a giant cat peeping over the horizon. His name is Bernard. Anywho, at this point, I finally knew what my theme would be. It's a cat having the time of his life prowling through an idyllic summer's night. A bit whimsical and a fun theme for my shadow box. At this point, I just wanted to add some little details that would break up the big blocks of paper in the form of stickers. They're a little random, I admit, but I really like the pops of color they lend to the collage. Another way I made it look more interesting is by adding some paint to the party. I took some black paint and tried a dry brush technique to darken the side with the brown paper to give it a sense of depth, like the bush is closer to the viewer and thus darker and a bit blurrier to see. For a last touch, I cut out some fireflies and stuck them around the collage to give a bit more interest. And with that, we're done! I had a lot of fun with this one, and although it's a little quirky, I really like the outcome of the shadow box. And that's all for me, folks. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe! Oh, and be sure to leave a suggestion for the next Speed Paint Sunday in the comment section below. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!